Hey guys, I'm Off The Grid for August, and here's fake Native American Elizabeth Warren being a really, really horrible person. On that note, Senator, I want you to listen to one reaction from a small business owner who thinks that he has played by the rules. His name is Brian Lonsberry. We have done the sacrifices, the no vacations, the no out to eats, and, and now I'm on the other side. The reason it upsets me so much is are we setting a good example? It's a little upsetting that we kept paying and struggled and through everything, and then other people just gave up and quit, and, and I wasn't raised to, to quit. What do you say to Brian and others who say that this is really not fair, that a student loan is just one kind of debt, and there are other people who don't have that but have other struggles that the government isn't helping them with? You know, I think a lot about fairness, and I think about how education debt is different from other debt. I look at it this way. I wanted to be a public school teacher from the time I was in second grade. My daddy ended up as a janitor, and there was no money for me to go to college. But I found a public university that cost $50 a semester. And for a price I could pay for on a part-time waitressing job, I finished a four-year diploma, I became a special education teacher, and it opened a million doors for me. That opportunity is not out there today for any of our kids. Our public education system is no longer creating opportunities for kids like me and other kids whose families can't afford to write a check. Instead, we're saying to these young people, you've got to get an education, but we are going to wrap the, the chains of debt around you. So, and for many, you're going to be paying it for decades into the future, including getting Social Security checks garnished. That's not the America we want. Well, to I'm not sure. We want to be an America of opportunity. Yeah, but I'm not sure that this re relieving this amount of debt changes the cost of college. The cost of college is still exorbitant. Well, look. Part of what it does is it deals with the debt has been built up because the cost of college has gone up, because taxpayers have made fewer investments in our public colleges and universities, because for-profit colleges have swooped in and figured out that they can cheat a lot of students. We have a lot of problems in the whole system. The president has done what he can do with the tool in front of him.